Using the VWAP forecast, the strategy for the early and middle trading period is to capture alpha. To do this, we buy child orders when the market price trades at a discount to the VWAP or the VWAP forecast and at the near-term lows. We look to sell child positions when the market price trades at a premium to the VWAP or the VWAP forecast and at the near-term highs. The strategy for the late period is to satisfy the parent order at or near the VWAP late in the trading period with decreasing time risk. It's important to note that the current VWAP is used as a proxy for the VWAP forecast until an accurate forecast is available. Here's the dashboard for the Alpha VWAP. We see the VWAP forecast in the top chart that gives the trader a range for the final VWAP and is updated in real time based on changing market conditions. Again, we note that the current VWAP is used as a proxy for the VWAP forecast until a, an accurate final VWAP forecast is available. Again, here is the Alpha VWAP dashboard through midday. We see the VWAP forecast in red. Our first buy level is entered when the market price trades at a discount to the VWAP and at the near-term lows. The market then rallies and the subsequent sell order is generated when the market price trades at a premium to the VWAP and at the near-term highs. By capturing alpha, buying when the market price is below the VWAP and selling when the market price is above the VWAP, we've captured 31 basis points and locked alpha. Here's the same data set through mid-afternoon. Our second order is generated when the market price trades above the VWAP and the VWAP forecast and at a premium to the VWAP and at the near-term highs. We cover those short positions when the market price trades and dips below the VWAP, trading at a discount to the VWAP and at the near-term lows. The net result of this second trade is capturing 28 basis points in locked alpha. Going into the close, we see the narrowing range for the VWAP forecast. As the market price approaches the VWAP forecast, we look to satisfy the parent VWAP order. And so to summarize, during the early and middle trading period, we look to capture alpha, buying when the market price is below the VWAP and selling when the market price is above the VWAP. And late in the period, we look to satisfy the parent order at or near the VWAP late in the trading period. Thank you.